Hi, so my name is Charles Thaler, and the technology of the future that excites me the most isn't actually a technology that is recently invented. Just like 3D printing wasn't recently invented, but it's just now becoming popular, uh, the liquid, thor liquid fluorine thorium reactors for nuclear power were invented back in the 1940s during the Manhattan Project that was part of their research. But it wasn't pursued as a viable energy source because in a uranium reaction, which is the one that has always been used so far and actually has the most research on it, um, the waste products, plutonium and neptunium, can be used to make the bombs. So that's why they ended up pursuing that reaction, because they could use it for the Manhattan Project in two ways. But the liquid thor fluorine thorium reactors are actually a lot safer than uranium reactors for many reasons. One of the reasons being that you can actually engineer it to be a, uh, a um, safe, uh, safe fail. So if a uranium reactor goes under or uh, malfunctions, well, uh, catastrophic failure. We've seen this at uh, Chernobyl, at Fukushima. At Fukushima, they had many backup generators to keep the water pumping, but during the tsunami, all of them went offline and the whole thing went uh, almost uh, nuclear. But for a liquid fluorine, uh, liquid fluorine thorium reactor, what you can do is that the reactant is actually a liquid. It's a mixture of the nuclear uh, product thorium and fluorine together, and you can use that to generate the reaction. And what you can actually do is you can create a frozen plug, is what they call it, underneath the base. So when it fails for the pumping and it starts heating up, the frozen plug will open up and allow the fluorium to flow away from a little bit of plutonium, which is the seed reactant, because otherwise the normal product won't react by itself. So they're a lot safer. They can actually generate 100 times more energy than uranium reactions. And they're now becoming a lot more present in research, and that's excites me the most. Any questions? Uh, I actually have one. Uh, so one of the questions I was going to ask is if you think nuclear power is a viable new source of energy, or are people too afraid of it to start pursuing it again? I think people are afraid of it because of what we've seen with uranium reactors. Or like Green right, right. Island and Fukushima and Chernobyl, the risks were very, very high. And I you can't engineer a fail safe in those systems. The reasons of systems are actually pressurized water um, heat transfer systems. The uranium won't actually react or go nuclear um, in a controlled manner unless you keep it pressurized in the surrounding water area. So the whole thing is a big pressure vessel. And so if you lose some pumping, then you start building steam pressure instead of just high temperature water uh, pressure, which is nominal pressure because it's incompressible. And the whole thing can go catastrophic, and then the rock crops just go nuclear. So I guess the big thing is just showing the public that it's safer. Exactly. But until you can do that, I guess it's still like... Yeah. There's still tabby. research needs to be done on it, because not many plants, like uranium plants, have been built, and so the technology is still young in that sense. Any other questions?